Now, what we're going to do is use the built-in poly tools to start sculpting this. So paint deformation is the tab that we want inside the poly tools. And there's a push-pull right here. Transform axis we want to be the Z. And you can see my tiny little brush here. That's not going to be good enough. So we want to up the brush size to like three feet or maybe maybe five feet. And it still seems really small. So what I'm going to do is build up some berms around here. Let's go even bigger, 10 feet. And what this will do is make sure that our eye kind of doesn't really see what's going on beyond our foreground here. We can build up some sand around the, the base here. We can do whatever we want. And then we can, I want to do some path, some path stuff that kind of goes from here over to here and comes down towards the camera. Because the camera, we know from our conceptual image that the camera is kind of sitting at a path or looking up a path that leads our eye to the building. So we can go brush strength like negative one. No, we want brush strength at one, but the push-pull value to be more. So negative one foot. Okay, now here we can drag from here and come down towards the camera. And I want another path kind of going here and under the building. Okay, so you can see we've now put divots in the ground where we want the path to go and it's kind of it's kind of nice and uneven for us which is good because it looks that's how it would be naturally if we want to relax it we can do that too and go back in and so this carving stuff is pretty straightforward I would say we can do negative six inches and carve some of this out in here so just get some variation with carving to make it look kind of like sand or eventually it's gonna look like dirt too so we're going to use it for both of those things. But really just the ground needs to be not perfect and have some deformations in it. This edge is going to be an issue because we have complex geometry going into simple geometry. So that's where I was just using some of this push-pull stuff to make kind of a berm on the edge to make sure our eye doesn't see that gap going on. So we can just pretend like there's mounded up sand over here that's covering up that transition. We want something that's not as sharp right there. Just using the relax tool to kind of smooth it out. We don't want something that grabs our eye as a huge mound. Okay, so using these basic tools, we can easily just add some variation to our ground levels. Now let's set up a camera here to make sure that we're looking good. The camera would be somewhere around here. Let's see, I'm going to use a V-Ray camera. You could also use a V-Ray uh, 3ds Max physical camera. So I think that's where we want the camera view. Yeah, and I'm going to have to go in and relax some of this ground because it's too dramatic. Now, another thing that we need to do when setting up our camera, well, let's talk about this in the next video. But we're going to have to, we're going to, have to set up our camera so that we're making sure to match the conceptual image but for now let's just let's just go in and clean this up the way we want it and then in the next video we'll we'll mess with the camera to make sure we're in the right place on our terrain and just with our camera in general so i'm just going to keep going through and relaxing pushing and pulling getting this to the point where i want it and this camera serves the purpose of showing me that i'm a little too extreme on some of my terrain here so i need to go in and fix that so i'll spare you the details of doing all that but that is the tool that we use to get it right. And in the next video, we'll talk about setting up our camera.